Well, clearly we're in the hospitality business. And uh, what we do is a little bit different. Our company is built by hotel managers, hotel operators. That's the, that is the, what we do is we go into a hotel and we create value in the hotel operations. And when you think about it, hotels really aren't as much real estate as they are an operating business. And there's a world of opportunity in a hotel that is perhaps undermanaged that our team has the experience to come in and, and manage it better, if you will, and create value for our investors. And I'm very proud of some of the success they've had. And tell us how, how this last year has been with COVID. I mean, you've overcome the bulk of it. What are your key success factors? Well, first of all, you've got to think about COVID in terms of an opportunity, I believe. I mean, when you're, you're faced with adversity, you have two ways to approach it. You can approach it as an opportunity or creating opportunities out of it. Or let's, let's, let's face it, you can bury your head in the sand and wait for it to blow over. We chose to fight our way through it, and we were incredibly successful. And statistically, I'll share with you that our hotels outperform our peers by 10 to 15 percent on a month-to-month -month basis. So we're very proud of that revenue performance. And what are your plans for the next 12 months? Well, this is actually the, the, the most exciting time that I've ever seen in my 30 years of the hospitality industry, quite frankly. Uh, clearly, everyone, everyone knows that COVID-19 has been impactful to the hotel industry, and that creates opportunities. And it's a little bit different than in 2010. We see the recovery starting. It started. It started in the second week of March. We literally saw a switch flipped and things began to increase. For example, the most important statistic we look at from a revenue standpoint is REVPAR, rate per available room. Our REVPAR has literally doubled in the last three months. So we're well on our way. Week over week, we're seeing a revenue increase and it's, it will continue into, actually this summer I think is gonna be the, the, the best summer that I've ever seen in, in the hospitality industry. And then in, in this, I believe in the summer of next year, second quarter of 2022, things will be very close to uh, where they were in 2019. Right now, we're only 21% off. Our company is only 21% off in terms of revenue where we were in 2019. And today you're in Monaco. What brings you to Sir Anthony's conference? Well, I'm looking forward to uh, actually partnering with uh, family offices so that we can we can take advantage of the opportunities that I'm seeing and frankly I don't believe that in my career I'm 60 years old I don't think I'm ever gonna see an opportunity like this in my career this is pretty much it so I am I'm incredibly optimistic because the data supports what I'm seeing and I want to seize the opportunity to the fullest extent, but I want partners, people that are opportunistic and understand what we're trying to do.